then have light. Find the cone house on. All right. On yeah. yeah. Good morning, everybody. Uh, today is Daf Kuf, page 100 in the Masechus Yavamas. So uh, we're around, I don't know, uh, nine lines from the top. Let me count. Three, six, nine. Yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting pretty good at this. The nine lines from the top. Kufa Maral. All right, and away we go. So yesterday we were discussing we had cases of, I don't remember the case anymore, but if someone was a Suffolk coin, uh, Suffolk not, and then we got into other cases. Uh, who can go ahead and, and, and get truma by the gairan, by the granaries? So he said, and there, was, there were 10 people that were excluded from uh, receiving, you know, from sending off, uh, you know, women and tumtum and, and cotton, shota, so on and so forth. And so he said, v'chulon, last word of the line, and then, so a quote over there said, all of them, even though they can't come, but we can send for them, except for somebody uh, who is uh, uh, Tame, and, because he can't eat the truma, and somebody who, uh, uh, a, a, a person who married someone who wasn't fit for him, such as uh, he married, let's say, come and married a Grusha. But however, if it's someone who's uncircumcised, then in the we go ahead and send him a portion of truma. So my time, or what's the reason? Mishum Danis, because it's not his fault. In other words, um, you know, the Chara person is Arel. The reason why he's an Arel is, let's say, he had two previous brothers, or two or three, right, that... Uh, that, that couldn't uh, be uh, circumcised uh, due to, uh, let's say, they died during circumcision, so that he didn't get a, a circumcision. He's an RL. So he's honest. So tell me, Nami, honest. He's also honest. So ha navish einsev, ha lo navish No, in the case of RL, it's completely an INS, but in the case of Tame, so there is some fault with the Kohen becomes Tame, and therefore we penalize him by not sending him a portion of Chu. Tane Rabbana, third of the way down. So a woman and a, 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 an Eved, we don't give them a portion of Besa Granos. Right? We mentioned yesterday, a woman shouldn't go, whether it was because she might have been divorced already we didn't, and we didn't hear, or because of perhaps Yichud. However, uh, But a place where they go ahead and they give, then they give her first to send her off first. My come, what do you mean to say? You just said you don't give her. Now you're saying you give her. So how can you to say? But in a place where you do go ahead and give Meister Ani, Maestro Ani, and a woman does qualify for Maestro Ani if she's poor. They give the woman first, my time, because it's a zilzo for her to go ahead and wait in line. It's embarrassing. So therefore, we give her first and let her uh, be on her way. And I'm a Rava, and says Rava, Miresha, in the beginning, in the beginning, when I used to go ahead and have people come to, to, for, to the base, didn't have men and women come. I mean, the Mitzvahs. I used to go ahead and do the, the men first. They don't want to, the men to waste time. They're obligated to miss us. So therefore, I took care of the men's case first. And then afterwards, I did the women. However, came the Shemina, the Sharina. However, once I heard this, then Sharina Tigra, the Isis of Reisha, my time of Shemizilusa. However, once I heard this halacha, then when it comes to the Maestro running, they gave the woman first because of Zilusa. So too, I did the din of the woman should not uh, uh, wait around. And therefore, uh, did, 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 you know, he, he went ahead and did the din, uh, you know, the, the, you know here are the case of the woman. And then, uh, sent her off and then did the man's case. Fine. He did a lot of us. And then if they, they grow older, I think I might have been uh, Alan, who uh, Gershman or someone pointed this, uh, this out yesterday. So he said, if there were two people, one was an Eved and one was it's his Kohen master, but we don't know which one's which. Now they got mixed up at birth. So when they get older, if one goes ahead, you know, and, and they free one another. So the so the Gemara says Sheikh. So, so that's what the Mishnah says. So it says Sheikh or E boy E ni lo boy lo. But wait, so he says no. Is they if they go ahead and they write, they they free one another, so they can do if they want. They don't have to do it. Right? They can't go ahead and marry a Sheikh because he might be the Kohen, and they can't go ahead and marry a, 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 the Kohen because it might be the uh, it might be the Abbot. So when it says, Amarava, Ema Shachrin Zed Zed. It doesn't say if they go ahead and do it. Rather, we force them to go do it because, as mentioned in the Mishnah, they're not able to go ahead and marry anybody. And we say we give them so both chumras of the Kohanim and the Israel. Right. We, we say obligate them because we want them to, to, to live in the, in the ways of the world, which is to get married. Uh, and therefore, they, we force them to go ahead and marry. And therefore, they can marry somebody who is Mutter the Israel. Mm-hmm. Uh, Mutter to a to a Kohen, 
Right. Because what? Yeah, they married Israel. Right, right. Yeah. They married Israel. but not a. Right, but but they can't marry a Grusha Chutz because it might be a coin. Right. Now, so he said, then we give them both Chumras uh, because it's a suffix of Chumras of Israel and a coin. So Lamai Hilchos. So for what's the Allah? Because I'm a Papa. Lamin Chasa for their Mincha. Now the Mincha. So a Mincha offering of a uh, of Israel. Normally you you take the Kamitsa that is offered upon the Mizbeach and the Shirayim are eaten by the Kohanim. Uh, when it comes to the Minchas of the, uh, uh, the Kohanim, so that gets placed upon the Mizbeach. So what do you mean over here? So the Minchas is a Minchas Yisrael. So they do a Kamitsa. Now normally a Minchas Kohen does not require a Kamitsa. However, Minchas Yisrael does. So therefore, they Minchas Minchas Yisrael. They take a Kamitsa like the Minchas of Yisrael. They eat it in that house, but it can't be eaten because then we treat it like... Um, like uh, 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 that of the coin. So, how so? So, they go ahead and do the coimates, they offer their own. And the, 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 the shirayim, the leftover the after he goes ahead and he takes out the, the, the handful, the kamitsa, then the rest is also from this beer. So, the rest is what do you mean? There's a special halacha that after something is offered, you can't go ahead and place the shirayim upon the mizbeach. So, over here, right, you're offering the, miz, the, the kamitza upon the mizbeach, and then you're also placing the shirayim on the mizbeach. No, he doesn't, the shirayim are not placed upon there, the shame eats him, excuse me, the shame, the shame uh, karban. Rather, not for Rech Nechach, as we say, rather he does it for the wood. One is allowed to go ahead and offer a wood offering upon the Mizbech. You can't go ahead and put the Shirayim, the leftover uh, uh, flower, right, upon the Mizbech as a Rech Nechach, as a pleasant aroma for, to a Gosh Baruch Hu. Rather, you can go ahead and put it on like, uh, like that of wood. So this was, okay, there, according to Rabbi Elazar, who says you ought to do that. El Rabbanu, but according to Rabbanu, who prohibit this? Ma'ikel Meimer, what are you going to say that? So the Avile, ki Rabbi Elazar, Rav Shimon, like that which Rabbi Elazar, Rav Shimon says, the time of Rabbi Shimon, Oimer, ha-koimates, karav li'atzmo, so the go ahead, he places the, 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 the koimates, this has to do with a, um, but, 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 this is a, a Kohen who comes to Tomei, right? So he brings his Minchas Chaita. So he's coming to the Asma of Shirai, Pazim al Beis Hadeshen. You go ahead and you place the nod upon the Mizbech, rather on the base of Deshen, right in the area of the ashes. The Afila Rabbana, and even over there, the Rabbana, like Pligi, Ella the Rabbeza of Shimon, Ella the Minchas Chaita, Shokwan, only the Minchas Chaita of Shokwan and the Basa Kravi, because since that's offered, so therefore they say you can't go ahead and place it, that part can't be placed upon the, uh, the base of Deshen. But over here, I feel that even Rabban will be moida that he can go ahead and place the shirayim upon the base of Dashan. And those, that's considered to be quote unquote offering it, right? But it's not the Mizbeach. And therefore, that would uh, 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 follow uh, all the shirayim. Fine. Naya Mishnah. Mishnah, three lines from the bottom. Mishalo Shasta, Achar, Bala, Shleisha, Chadashim. Welcome, Mayor. Come on in. The water's warm. So, three lines from the bottom. So, a woman. Now, normally, we 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 uh, we require a woman to wait at least three months uh, before she remarries, um, because then there won't be any sort of doubt as to who the father is. Because if it's within three months, then it could be maybe she was early from the uh, from the second one or late from the first one, and therefore we don't know. So we require them to wait three months. Now, if you have a case, a woman doesn't wait three months, she gets remarried immediately. The Nises, and she gets married. The Yalda, and she gets birth. The Eina, Yadua, in Ben Tisha, the Rishon, in Ben Shila. We don't know if the child was full term for the first husband, or was uh, early was seven in the seventh month uh, with the second husband. So now let's say how you love Ben Mina Rishon, Ben Mina Sheni. Let's say she had children. All right, she had sons with the first husband. She had two kids from that marriage. And then she, you know, his second husband, she has this baby who's in down. Then she has two more kids. Now, this brother in the middle, right, the fifth boy, the one in the middle who's in doubt. So he has two full brothers, same mother, same father. And he also has two maternal brothers. Okay. So, therefore, in such a case, and they all die in these. He has to go ahead and they, they leave over wives. It's four maternal 
Four maternal, excuse me. Four maternal, four maternal, four maternal brothers. brothers and two paternal brothers. Right. right. I, I met two full brothers, and then and the other ones are just maternal brothers. We don't know which one's which. So we say, So all of them die, and all of a sudden the four wives are waiting new. So in this case, he has to do chalitza only. He can't do yibum. Now, yesterday we were saying, okay, all the cases of doubt, everyone does chalitza, and the last guy can do yibum. Over here, you can't do yibum. Why? Because if it's only a maternal brother, his wife is never mutter. Right? So therefore, right? So therefore, in this case, so, uh, uh, so uh, the chain, or that was they do to him, the chain who lahem, so to, and, and he would do to them, he would do chalitz and ayibam, so to, if he's the one who dies, that, that was actually the first case, right? If he's the one who dies, they all do chalitza, uh, or each set of brothers will do chalitza to his wife, and there is ayibam uh, will not be prohibited because it could just be a paternal, uh, excuse me, a maternal sister in law. Now, so, a it's a fraternal. Excuse me, a maternal brother is butter completely from Hebrew. Yeah. A, in, in, yes, in a yes, normal case. Yeah. Yeah. Has, has, has to be paternal. 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 Same so problem. In this yeah. case, because he's he suffix, suffix, one of them, so, right, the, the, he just might be his maternal him. brother, not his paternal brother, therefore there's no chiv at all, therefore the isr, the, the kares would be in place. Now. That's fine. Now, next case. Now, let's say you have a scenario like this. The, the previous marriage, right? The father had other sons or had one other boy. Okay, let's say it was, it was the one case. It'll be easier. He had, had another boy for another marriage. He married this woman and then, you know, divorced her. Then she got remarried right away. And then there was, he was born. And then the, that who she married right away also had another son. So each father that she married had another boy. Two, basically, ha- he, he has two, no, 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 no. He has two, uh, no, nothing. Yeah. He has two half-brothers, right? Two half-brothers. Two half-brothers. But now, so, but now, so, but now, so, who cholates umiyabe? The heim, echad cholates umiyabe. So let's say their wives die. So he can do uh, uh, now, in this case, since he doesn't uh, share the, no, share all right, they don't share uh, mothers because they're from mothers, and therefore one of them might be his paternal. One of them is his paternal brother. We just don't know which one is which. Which father that was the one? Nothing. So there, there was nothing. So therefore, he's able to do chalitza and yibum, right? And when they go to him, they also one does chalitza and one can do yibum afterwards if he wants. Now, yeah, but the, the, the wife of the half brother from his father, he should do yibum to. The what? The, he can't. He, he said he could. He could do could. or yibum. He could do whatever he wants. Right. But you have to, right. You can do either one. Right. Oh. Now. Okay. Haya echad Yisrael echad koin. If one of them is a Yisrael and one of them is a koin, no say isha roila koin. So now, if one of them, going back to the case, one of them is the Yisrael, let's say the first one is Yisrael, the second one is the Kohen, and we don't know if he, this baby is born is a Kohen or Yisrael. Now, we had this in the previous Mishnah. So once again, they say Isha, really a Kohen, he has to go ahead and marry a woman who's fit for a Kohen because he might be a Kohen. He can't go ahead and marry a Grusha or a Furutza. They have a time of the Mason, he can't become Tame, he might be a Kohen. The Mitma in a Sefik is a but if he does become Tame, then he doesn't get Malchus because we can't prove that he's a Kohen. We, we don't give him truma, he can't go ahead and eat truma, but however he eats it, she doesn't have to go ahead and repay it, because you can't, once again, we can't prove that he, he's not a coin. We don't give him a portion of the garan, and if he has his own truma, he can go ahead and sell to a coin. He doesn't get portions of the kachim, from kachim, from, from chadus, from um, right, that was we saw in the previous uh, 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 Mishnah in terms of from the, the different kabbonos or, or, or matanos that are given to the guanim. They might say a shalom yado. However, we can't force him to go ahead and give because he might be a coin. Upatim in his rabbi lechaim vekeva. Right, he's also pater from giving him from his chulin the different portions that are given to kohanim. Ubechara, if he has a bechara, once again, he can't force him to give a coin. He might be a coin, but however, he can't eat it because he had right. Actually, stavi, we should go ahead and wait till the develops a mum. The nice thing to love, as we said earlier. Chaimre, Kohana, Chaimre, Yisrael, and we said they had to do with the uh, Menachas. Hayu Shneim Kohanim. Now, both of them are Kohanim. 
previous, right? The, 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 the previous father, you know, uh, his name was uh, Bob Katz and she married uh, Larry Cohn, right? Who owned in Alea? So he is a Chumra, right? Becomes an own. If one of them die, he's an own for them. The Haim and they are owning him a lot. They are an own for him if he dies. Who ain't him a time in the but he can't come tell me for them. The Haim ain't him a time in love, but he can't be the time for him because we don't, once again, they, they might not sure that he's he, each one, it's his son. Who ain't a Yarish, a son, he does not inherit them because the other brothers can push up, says, hey, you're from the other father. About Haim, Yarish, and so, but if he dies, then the two sides would split. Upaiter, Amakasa, and he's, he's Pater, he goes ahead and hits his father or one of the fathers, the Akilasa, or cursing him, Shelzev, Shelzev, right? And both. All right, the heart of the case, maybe if he does both of them at the same time, he gets the same answer, it could be different. We put him to work, and he can join. So now each one's a Kohen, right? So he's Vade Kohen, right? So he goes and works in the Mishmar, right? However, uh, but he doesn't get a portion when the Kohanim go ahead and work during the Mishmar. However, you know, you should name it Mishmar Echad. If they were, because, correct. However, you should name it Mishmar Echad, but if they were both, uh, the, the, the first father and the second father, or the first husband and the second husband were both part of the same Mishmar, then Echad, Neitel, Chelek, then Mishmar Echad, Neitel, Chelek, He can take a portion because the Vada is part of this Mishmar, therefore he gets a, a portion. Fine. Zok the Gemara. So we said of the case when he, uh, it was, uh, there, were, there was uh, the different mothers. In other words, the, 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 each doubtful father had another had another son from another mother. And then we said over there, they can do chalitza and yibum. So we said, first they do uh, chalitza and then yibum. But the first one can't go ahead and do yibum first. Why is that? Because it could be that it was the other brother. And therefore, if she goes ahead and does yibum to the one guy first, then it turns out she's marrying somebody who is not her yavam, and therefore violating the Esther of yibum l'shuk. And Omar Shmuel, Asara, Kohanim, Aindim, if there are ten Kohanim, you know, in one area, Uperish Echamihem, and one of them leaves a uh, ball, uh, right? And then he has like a child with basically a woman, right? Was with one of these ten Kohanim. She does was not sure which Kohen was the father of her child. It was one of these ten Kohanim. Havlad Shtuki. The Vlad is a Shtuki. So my Shtuki. What does it mean? Shtuki knows it means Shtuk like we don't know quite. It means if it means that this child, since we don't know which one is his father, he can't go ahead and inherit his father from one of the ten fathers. She that's obviously the right? We don't know who his father is. Why? What's the even Havim mean to think that he could split, potentially split in the Arushas of any of these ten Kohanim? Ella, Shmash Tikino Samitin Kahuna. Rather, we say, you're not a Kohen. Even though all ten of them were Kohanim. So my time, or what's the reason? So I'm recall, the Pasik says, the lo ulazara achara. It says about the Kohanim, him in Azara Achara, the inan Zara Miuchas Achara. In other we have to know who his father is in order to be the Kohen. But if he doesn't know what he just knows I'm a Kohen, right? So then that doesn't work. Right, Valeka? So Maskitla. So first of all, side question before we get to the Maskitla Rafa Elbiat about the Pasik. Over there, but Gabi Avram, by Avram it says the Chasib. Liyos lechal the Kimo Zarecha Chamecha. Is that a Kimo or what's the pasuk over there? Or that's Hashem. Okay, fine. So he said there, and others Liyos lechal the Kimo. And I was I'll be your God and Zarecha Chamecha, and your Zara will be after you. Achamecha, same word Achamecha. So awesome, I come Azur. They over there. What's the the, the warning over there? So Azur Rachmana. So how can come? This means to say Le Le Tinasev of Eschav and Mish. No, no, be careful not to go ahead and marry Avraham Kachavim or a Shivcha, because then your Zara, your your descendants will not follow you. So Meisve. Now going back to our question, we just said that if a Kohen he knows one of these ten Kohanim is his father, but we don't know which ones. Which we say you lose your status as a Kohen because it says Zarecha Acharecha. So I Meisve. So we said. Rishon Roilia is Kohen Gadol. So in, in the case of where we, we don't know which one, which Kohen is his father, right? It's a suffix. So he said, he's basically fit to be a Kohen Gadol. I need his Zara to be Miuchas after him. So the you don't have that there. So Zara Miuchas Acharav Darabon. Really, it's only Darabon. The cross Smach the Biyama. It's only a Smach the Biyama. It's not a really did the Raisa. It's not all cases as we'll soon see. It's only a Smach the Biyama. He goes the rabban, and when the rabban were goes there, it says, "You know what? We're remachmer. You're not going to be a kohen." But he goes the rabban, and the znus that's only referring to znus. In other words, if it wasn't done, but derech nesuin. However, in nesuin, when it comes to marriage, lo goes the rabban. Then 
uh, Rabbanu were not guys. Now, so the, uh, the half mina right now is in our case, the Mishnah was the case of the Suwan, right? She was married to the first guy. Then she got, you know, then mm-hmm. she was quickly within three months married a second guy. And therefore the guy is still a Kohen. It was Znus, me gozer. But however, even in the case of Znus, are we gozer? Do we say he's not a Kohen? Me gozer Abanan. But today we learn a Mishnah, Mishlo Shosacher. Let's look at our Mishnah. Let's analyze our case of Mishnah. Mishlo Shosacher, Baila Shlesha Chodashim. But woman did not go ahead and wait three months after, or after her husband. Venise says, and she got married, the Yelda. And gave birth. So what does it mean? My Acher Bala. She didn't wait three months. Acher Bala. Right? Literally after her husband. So Ilema Acher Mises Bala. Okay. If you're saying, like, you would have thought, many of you might have thought, okay, after the death of the husband, same as Safe. Let's look at the Safe. It says, who Oinen Aleim. He is an Onen for them. In other words, they Onen Alav. And they, if he dies, they're an Onen for him. Now, Bishlam, who Onen Aleim. How is he Onen for him? Now, imagine. The first, uh, uh, like, uh, 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 like, Avelus, like, you know, I was here the first day, he has the Suda and all that, the forbidden Tzernitzus, right? So, Bishlam, who owned in a limit, it's a case of one of the fathers dies, so he becomes an owner, and how is that? Mishkach is love and You find that in marriage, the Shani, right? In other words, if the second father dies, obviously he's alive when the second father was there, it was a second marriage, and if he dies, he'd be owning from him. And even the first father, so if you say he died and then she got remarried within three months, the leak had some uh, the comma. Right, in other words, is a halacha that if you go ahead and remove, right, uh, or, or right, you move a, a grave, right, you, even the bones, that's like a day of avelus, right? So you move the bones of the first father, right? So then that's also he, he would be noeg aninus there. Allah, love. They are owning for him. If he dies, both of them have to basically, you know, uh, 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 be an owning for him. How could the first husband, right, be an owning for a son? He's he died. That was the scenario. He died, and the woman and the woman got married afterwards. So the Allah way you can say begusha, right? I say divorce. So my acher bala. What does it mean after husband? Acher get bala, right? Should have said get bala. Should have said get. Okay, fine. Same as seifa. Who a matami lahem? They matami lo. So then it says you want to say so. Let's say a case of a get. So who he cannot become tummy for them, and they. Cannot be tummy for him. Now, bish lo behein aim a tummy lo. If you want to say that it was a case of divorce and therefore both of them are alive and they can't become tummy for him, okay. Luchumra the chol chan v'chad dom alav abrehu. Each one he might not be their son and therefore they cannot become tummy. Ella who aim a tummy lehem. He can't be a tummy to them. Here's a good chap. Am I? So bish lo malasheni. I understand if he was a child of the second one. Uh, excuse me, I understand that for the second guy, he doesn't become a for him. Why? Because he might be the child of the first one. El shown, but if the first guy died, her original husband, he dies, he should be able to become Tommy for him either way. Why? If it's actually his father, then Shapir come a Tommy Then it's good that he goes to Tommy. And he bar Basra Havi. And if he's actually the son of the second one, Wait, the second one, the father was a Kohen, and he just married a woman who was recently divorced. He's a Chalal. He's a Chalal. He, he's allowed to become Tame, right? So, Eva Barabasa, who shall become a Tame? The Chalal, who? He's a Chalal. Ella, love, business. Rather, now we must be talking about she was Nazana with somebody. And then within the three months, she was with somebody else. And therefore, right? And even in this case, he's still a Kohen. He's still a, right? he's still a Kohen there. So it says, is this is so my Akhabal. So it says, no, but my Akhabal. And what does the word Akhabal mean? Akhaboyla, right? Victani Seifa Ola Bemishba Shazev Shazev. And it says over there, he, huh? right. So he, we see that he's a Kohen, right? So in other words, it was just a boil, right? In other words, it wasn't a husband, it wasn't a case of divorce, it was regular Znus, and he's still considered to be a Kohen. So it's a Kash and Shmuel, tooth of the Shmuel, because Shmuel said earlier, Ten Kohanim, we don't know who his father is, you're not a Kohen. Here he says you can work in the Mishnah, the base of Mitash. So I'm the Rav Shmaya, the Mamanis. No, our Mishnah is not talking about a case of Znus. Znus is still Xero. We're talking about the case of a, a girl who was married by her brother, mother, right? And she denies, she says, you know, I'm out of this. I don't want to be married to you. And then within three months of that, she gets married. You know, she's, a, you know, by the time she turns 12, she's like, I don't want this. And she marries someone within three months. So where I says, ah, oh, Venice. Right? Huh? She was. Well, she turned she, 12. Right, she turned 12, then she has a choice to do me. Right. Right. So she does me. And then she married someone within three months. 
within so, so the, and that was the and that's the suffix we're dealing with. So the Gemara says, wait, so the man has Mikal Yalda. Can she give birth? Right, if she's yeah. before the age of twelve, the three women that are able to go ahead and use some sort of, you know, birth control. Katana, a a, a, a child who's a girl is too young. Moberis, or someone who's already pregnant. Or Monica, or a nursing mother. Katana, what's the reason why? Katana shemati saber v'tamos. A katana, she might go ahead and become pregnant and die. It's dangerous. Or Moberis, a woman who is uh, already pregnant. Right, perhaps that if she comes pregnant again, then it will cause damage to the first fetus. And Menika, woman's nursing, perhaps she you know, won't produce milk anymore, and then uh, the, her current baby that she's nursing will die. From the age of 11 to 12. So 11 to 12, if she gets pregnant, she'll die. All right, so... <clears throat> 11 to 12, she'll get pregnant and die. So we can't be talking about a case of where she got pregnant and gave birth because then when she was 11, because then, uh, uh, you know, we know she, she would die. And it was, she wouldn't get pregnant before the age of 11. And after 12, she's okay. But after 12, you can't do me, right? The MF, uh, Mikan, but however, earlier than that, oh, yes, okay. Mishemesh is Kadarka. Then she go ahead and be Mishemesh Kadarka. The Halachas. And the Divir Mayor, she can go ahead and be Mishemesh if she's under the age of 11 because she won't get pregnant or she's over the in 12 because there's no more sakana that has a pinna mayor each one commissioners kadarka she can go ahead and be uh, mishami she doesn't have to worry if she's a katana or manika or muberis why is that belechas why because uh, the heavens hashem will be will have mercy upon them since it's common he watches over fools so once again how do you find the case of a woman, not in the case of Snus, who has basically is uh, is Bayel a second person. In the case of Kedusha Tos, so let's say a woman, she goes ahead, she's Makadish with a guy, and it was upon a condition, and the condition is not fulfilled, and all of a sudden, right, so that goes away. Uh, so right, if she was not forced, a woman who was let's say raped. Right, so she was uh, 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 so asura. Ha nispas. Right, if she wasn't forced, then she's asur. Ha nispas. But if she was forced, then muteris. Then a woman basically was violated, who was forced. She is still mutter her husband. The yesh and there's also another person. She afal pishal nispas. That even though she was not forced, she's muteris. Phase zu. Right. She kedusha kedushitos. She afilu bina murkav aksafem amenas v'halachas law. That even if her child, right. Is uh, you know is, 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 she's carrying the kid around, right? We know she she she, she was fully married, right? That nevertheless is not mm-hmm. considered to be a case of znus, mm-hmm. and therefore uh, that would be kshera, and therefore there there'll be another scenario uh, where we have uh, two husbands back to back, and if it was a case of kedusha tonight, and the tonight was not fulfilled. All right, oh. we'll stop here. Yeah. All right, shkayach everybody. Oh.